Hello and welcome guys. In this video, I will show you how to stack images to reduce noise in nighttime photos or low light situations. All right, so what is noise? Well, if you've ever taken a photograph at night, uh, you will notice that you have to turn up the ISO, which ISO is basically the intensity that the sensor is capturing light. So what happens when you do that is you're going to get a lot of red and blue pixels. Now, they're very tiny. You can't see them, but it's very noticeable if you come up close on the photograph, and most of the time, it's not usable. So you want to take multiple photographs with this method, and we're going to jump into Affinity Photo in order to demonstrate this process. Now, as you see now, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to look at. So we're going to go from this landscape photo here of the Chicago skyline, now, if you look at this picture, you're going to see all the noise. This is one photograph. Now, here is the picture with 10 photographs stacked together using the Affinity program to merge all those photos together. All right, so let's jump right into the program and let's get going. Okay, so I want to assume that you either took your photographs on a tripod or you can use this uh, handheld uh, for this particular demonstration. I took these photographs on a tripod and I used 10 photographs. Now, you can either shoot in JPEG mode or RAW mode. Either way, the program will capture it. All right, so now we launched Affinity. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and you're going to go down to where it says New Stack. All right, so you're going to click that. Now, when this window opens, you're going to see here Images add or remove and uh, usually I like to have this automatically align images so and we're going to use perspective you can use live alignment but uh, you're going to be doing that manually so if you shot on a tripod you shouldn't have uh, too much of an issue so let's hit add and now where you saved your photographs this is what you're going to add from so I already know that I'm going to use 10 so I'm going to use from here to here. I'm going to pick these 10 photographs. We're going to open. Now you're going to see them listed here. Okay. Now all you're simply going to do is now that you have those you're going to hit OK. Okay so now Affinity Photo has stacked all your raw files into one. Now if you look over here it has made them all into layers and it's going to say live stack group. Now if we hit play, you're going to see that it has made all your raw files into pixel profiles, right? So now if we uh, to reveal all the ones and you actually get to see exactly what the stacking process did, combining all these photographs together, now as you can see, it's much cleaner. Now obviously there's there's need, needs more processing so you can either do the processing here or you can save this as a any kind of file actually and, and you can use it in either Photoshop or you can just do the editing right here by itself. Now I already did the editing f for this so I'm just going to show you that picture right now. I'm going to put that on the screen so you can see the final editing result. Uh, but I find that this method reduces a lot of the noise. So if you're in a very low light situation, you can use this method and it will work just fine for you. Uh, one, one thing to mention too is see if you click here, this is a median stack. So that's the process it's using to reduce the noise. But you can also try uh, these different ones here. So if we go to mean, it'll just, it's another way to reduce noise. So you got some different ones here that you can use. So let's go to let's go to maximum and see what that does. You see, so just very subtle differences, but typically uh, medium does exactly what I needed to do. All right, guys. So that's how that works. Oh, and one more thing. Let me show you here. So once you have the stack, you can either leave it saved as a stack as an Affinity Photo file, or you can go down here. You can either save as, right, and it's going. You can save it as an Affinity f files, and you give it a name. But let's cancel that. 
Uh, what I want to show you is you want to export. So when you hit export, you have these options up here. And you can save in these different file types. So if you wanted to work with it some more, you can save it as a JPEG or what I did to do more processing as I saved this entire stack as a TIFF file. So that way I had more ability to go in there and change the white balance and enhance whatever I needed to enhance. And uh, so you use TIFF and you're gonna already export it. So then you export that out and you can start working with the file without messing with the stack that's now your live stack or you can take it into another program so this stacking process will work with any like Photoshop or any other program that lets you stack photos together in order to reduce the noise alright guys I hope you guys like this uh, and you can use this with your if you take pictures with your phone you can use this method with your phone you just gotta remember to take a lot of photographs uh, as still as you can if it's handheld or on a tripod is probably better and some people suggest up to 20 photographs uh, I did 10 uh, the 10 did the job very well and I like the results so all right guys tell me in the comments if this was helpful to you let me know if you know of another method thank you for checking out this tutorial check out my next tutorial where I will show you how to do an HDR photograph using Affinity Photo. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to your feedback. Bye-bye now.